Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Cheese and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be reacting to Steins Gate Zero, episode 6. You know, this has nothing to do with the show, but in my neighborhood there's this ice cream truck that drives by like almost every day during summer season and me and my family often used to buy ice cream from that truck. Uh, you can just hear it because it's ringing a bell whenever it drives by. But lately it's driving so fast, even if we hear the bell, like the truck's already long gone before we even get outside. So then I'm thinking like, what's even the point of driving through the streets if no one is able to catch you because you're going too fast. So that's why lately I haven't been able to buy any ice cream from that ice cream truck. So that was just something irrelevant, but something I just wanted to share. But yeah, today we'll be watching Stice Gate Zero episode six. Uh, things are definitely getting a bit more complicated. The plot is definitely thickening with that new like stalker person who is following Maho and especially since Sheena Kagari has entered the scene like she just entered the lab introduced by Ruka and she apparently has amnesia so she didn't remember anything about herself but then we ended with Mayushi and uh, Suzuha entering the lab as well. So that's where we left off in the last episode and I'm really excited to see what's gonna happen next. Maybe this was like the trigger and maybe through this um, Kagari will get her memories back. Who knows? In any case, I'm really excited to watch this episode. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So let's go. All right, I'm ready. So I'm gonna start the episode in three, two, one, go. Exactly. Yeah, you should calm down. Right, okay, so we're definitely just continuing from the moment where we left off in the previous episode, so um, so she has regained consciousness again because she fainted in the previous episode. And then after that, Mai, she just left. Um... Yeah, and Suza definitely knows more about Kagari, but we have to be careful, you know, like she doesn't have any memories um, left. And it, it seems that they, they haven't returned yet either, so we have to be careful. It's about when we're talking about memories, so we cannot be too hasty about that, too forceful.
This song is slowly growing on me. The more I hear it, the more I'm starting to like it. Wonderful new world. Well, it's kind of a complicated issue. Oh, those words were really sweet, yeah. Hmm. Oh, I, I I'm sure there must be more behind Moeka in this timeline as well. Right, yeah, we got introduced to this professor as well in the previous episode. Right, like you cannot just say that she's also being investigated by another group of people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't know who it is or for what purpose. Yeah, this is clever thinking.
right, this happened as well. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Brown. <laughs> oh yeah. She looks so cute, not <laughs> what is this business he's going to? Really? I didn't know Suzaha was doing a part-time job in this timeline. AI <laughs> of course, Dara is loving this. Oh my god! She's just drank Dara, oh my god. <laughs> what are you saying to your daughter or your future daughter? I'll see some progress.
Alright, this is the first time Maho sees Kagari as well. And of course, she knows Kurisu, so she sees the resemblance as well. Okay. <laughs> A bit too late, but... <laughs> Holy cow. That looks so good. <laughs> it's good that um, that the, the 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 girl is not with them. What's the name of the future mom of Suzha? Mr. Brown! Wait, what? Uh. Oh no, everyone is getting interested now.
Yeah, that was maybe not the best choice. He's getting flashbacks. Is it related? Oh shit. No, 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 no. just thinking like this is going way too peaceful you know having that new year's party i was like i was thinking like if we follow the same pattern as the original steins gate series then i was thinking around this point things will definitely get super intense because also in the original one, it started off really slow and then suddenly out of nowhere it got like super dark and intense. So I was thinking maybe we'll follow like the same like pattern and we just start off slow, like have these all having all these characters set up and then things really go down and but I didn't really expect it like things to go down in this episode already. Alright, so that was episode 6 of Steins Gate Zero and oh, things are getting more interesting, oh my gosh. Just when Okari thought that everything was alright, everything was peaceful, this is how things should be and continue, things suddenly took a 180 and things are definitely going to be super intense from now onwards. And this time it's probably not CERN that they have to deal with. It's probably like a different group of people because we also saw with those like masks. It's, it's different from the original Stein Gate series, but we can still see a lot of parallels between the two, between Stein's Gate and Stein's Gate Zero. In the original series, we had my she's watch that st suddenly stopped working and then this Timeline is the Amadeus that suddenly stopped working. Maybe the cause is the same? I don't know, like I see like these parallels and Ocarine is now really shocked because he didn't expect anything like that to happen anymore. Um, he thought everything was alright, but apparently not. So I don't know, like there's a lot going on. Um, we had this Amadeus program, the thing with Suzuha's mission and the future, Shina Kagari, Maho and her 
potential stalker, Okarin trying to forget Kurisu, and I don't know, there was just a lot going on. And for now, they seem all like unrelated, but we've seen in the Steins Gate original series that eventually all these dots get connected and becomes like one whole circle. And I'm suspecting that something similar will happen in this timeline. So I'm just really excited to find out what all these connections will be. And we have all these characters and things set up right now. And I feel like things are definitely going to become more intense. And it will also lead to all these dots being connected eventually. So I'm just really excited to see where that story is going to from this point onwards. I wonder if all the characters we got introduced to will play some kind of role, just like in the original series, because in the original series, all every character eventually played a important or big role. Even Mr. Brown, who I didn't suspect to, you know, have as such a major role, turned out to be a major character as well. So I wonder if even a character like Mr. Brown will play like a similar role in this timeline as well. Or or Moika, for example. She's not part of CERN or any type of agency, but I wonder if she'll also play that kind of role in this timeline as well. So there's so many questions going on, especially also with Sheena Kagari involved. I'm just really curious to see what kind of role she will be playing in this series. We see a lot of similarities between the original series and this Steingate Zero series. But with these new characters, not everything is going to be the same, of course. There will be different dynamics, different roles that characters will play. So we'll see how the story goes. I have no idea what I can expect at this point. And I'm just really excited to see the continuation of this story. But that was my reaction to this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. So if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you cannot wait to see my reaction to the next episode, you can check out my Patreon for early access. Or you can just subscribe to my channel and watch the episode a bit later. But that was my reaction. And thank you all for watching. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye-bye.